I am gonna put a torque plate on it so that we can do our torque plate hone. That way that simulates the stress that the cylinder head is gonna put on the cylinder bores. So I'm working on getting this 350 torn down so we can get it cleaned up to bore and hone. And at the same time, Dad's working on putting the finishing touches on this 402 block so we can get it out the door for our customer. Find a bigger hammer. I'm holding it like a man, too. So we have a 402 Chevy that we're finishing up. We just did machine work on it, but we're not actually doing any of the assembly because the customer wants to do that themselves. But I am going to mount our new KB pistons on our connecting rods that we reconditioned with ARP bolts. So the first thing I'm doing is getting everything laid out so that when I do this, I make sure that we get all of the pistons mounted in the correct orientation on the connecting rods. So basically what this does, I get my pistons set in here. This will stop the pin just past where it needs to be so that once it moves back, the pin is centered on the connecting rod the way it's supposed to be. So we've got our pistons mounted. We did some ARP bolts in these. These are a nice little upgrade from stock pistons, um, but nothing crazy, you know, this is just gonna be a street daily driver. So should be a good little motor for this guy um, once he gets it together. So I'm getting ready to get this 350 up on the boring machine so we can surface the deck and bore the block 30 over. So basically we have this fixture for V-style blocks that these rings go in so that it can center up off the mains. And then we have this triangle that goes in and uh, goes up against the pan rails to level the block. So now it's up on the fixture and obviously I gotta take these dowels out before we can surface the deck. So basically we have these pullers that you see it's got kind of cuts there so that it's kind of a slide hammer that you can tighten down over the pin and then pull it out. Try to do this left handed. And out they come. Now we're fixtured up. You can see we're resting on the center line of the mains, as well as we have our 45 in here, our square, to get square to the pan rail so that our deck surface is perfectly uh, perpendicular to our machine. So we are boring this 30 thousandths oversize, which means our final bore size will be 4.030 but I wanna leave some material to hone out after it's bored, so I'm setting my cutter to 4.026. All right, so that's hole number one. Let's see, it's nice and cleaned up. Now the reason I started on this hole instead of say over here is because there's more down in these holes, there's more webbing that you can hit 
with the bottom of this if you don't have your depth set correctly. So that's why you don't start on the cylinder that doesn't have as much down there to hit. I also would normally add some chamfer to the top, but it looks like this block already has a pretty significant chamfer from the factory. So I'm probably not gonna do that unless if when I deck it, we actually eliminate all of that, but I don't think we're going to. Deck one, let's go eat. Come on, buddy. Come on. So I'm at 8 thou, taking off the deck on this side. I'm just going to do a 1 thou finish cut. Actually, the 1 thou will take me to 8 total. Um, just so I can get, you know, a nice finish on the deck here. And then we'll switch over to the other side and do the other side. Alright, so now we'll roll the block over. And we'll surface the deck on the other side and bore the last four cylinders. All right, now we've got both, both sides board and decked, and we're ready to move into the home. I might have seen some kind of funny stuff on the last one. Basically in this cylinder, you can see at the bottom there where I had to kind of run it down until basically until the bottom of our spindle hit um, so that we could get that board all the way. For some of our parts sales, I'm also going to have to make a run to the post office real quick and drop these off. That one's going to UPS, but I'll do that later on my way home. It's just no fun if I don't take Declan. Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Thank you, dude. Alright, bud. Time to go back to work. Let's go. Back to work. Back to work, Daisy. Block is finished being bored and decked, and we're ready to move into our cylinder home. So now that we're getting ready to go in the home, I am gonna put a torque plate on it so that we can do our torque plate home. That way that simulates the stress that the cylinder head is gonna put on the cylinder bores when uh, when the head is torqued down on the on the block. Side number one is done.
So I'm gonna call it a day, but tomorrow we'll get this thing cleaned up and we'll put freeze plugs and cam bearings in it. And that way we can get it out to our customer. on this block is done got all the freeze plugs in and the cam bearings in and she looks pretty so I hope y'all enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe drop a comment and stay tuned for the next video